Great shot, sir. Perfect. Oh, that's there. awesome. Yeah. If I didn't feel this way, I wouldn't. I would never hunt again. Definitely got kudu fever, 100 percent, 100 percent. It's just like I shot my first deer when I was 16. My name is Jeff Walls. I'm 55 years old and I'm from Benton, Louisiana. I've been hunting since uh, really five years old and when my dad started me uh, squirrel hunting and it's just been a lifelong passion of mine and for I guess 50 years now. You cut through the ditch and there's almost like a open greenish patch there right that's the short grass, down. low down. It's like an open I green patch. If you look at that green patch and you just come from that green patch, straight back toward us, a hundred yards. Just look around there in the brush. There's a kudu bull facing us, standing in front of a tree, just standing still. He's just relaxing. You know, later in the season, when there's been a lot more hunting, a bull at this distance will look at us and walk into the trees. Early season, he feels a safe distance, we're a thousand yards away, and he's fine just to look at us, keep an eye on us sitting here, rather than disrupt his kind of morning routine. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeff and Kelly, welcome to our little piece of paradise down this side of the world. I know it's been a long bit of planning and a long flight over, but you're here, it's exciting. We've seen our first kudu of the morning, which is always great fun. And yeah, it's just good to have you guys. Well, thank you. It's been, you know, we've been planning for this for a long time. It's, uh, it's finally here, you know, we're finally here. It's, it's I mean, looking out, you know, and all the animals and seeing the, seeing the kudu this morning, which, you know, it's, I mean, it's just, it's just incredible. It's just hard to, hard to believe we're actually here, but we're here and it's, it's been fantastic so far. I can't thank you guys enough for this opportunity and the way you manage the animals here and take care of the animals and preserve the, the hunting heritage and the traditions of South Africa. It's fantastic. Well, we've got a, a whole week ahead of us, some great hunting, so we should keep the glasses up and keep spotting. That bull we've seen now is not quite what we're after, but yeah, we're just going to keep at it and we will find some, some great stuff, you know, and we're going we're gonna to have some good hunting. Fantastic. Thank you. You're most welcome. The reason I've wanted, always wanted to come to Africa is like most hunters, I enjoy watching hunting shows and videos and I have most of my um, um, adult life. I've uh, seen the Africa hunts, um, the different game species that are offered, something that's totally unique and different from what we have in uh, the States. Uh, the challenge, uh, the award, the, the, the trophies, the availability of it, it's just been a, a, a I don't even really know the exact time I've always wanted to do it, but I've just always have. Jeff, that really nice Mbala we saw is just over this tree line. We're going to have to climb up a bit to these higher trees and hopefully from there we get enough height to see over these trees and see what they're doing. There's a nice ram there. Let's just get up there. The wind's perfect. Let's give it a go. Okay, Jeff. I'm going to show you now 
around, you see those big cactus trees over there, about 150 yards. Yeah. Just left of that cactus tree, there's an impala feeding there. I think that's the ram that we're after. Great shot, sir. Perfect. Oh, in there. That's awesome. Yeah. Your first, your first oh, African animal. Goodness, that's fantastic. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> and that's just the way to do it. You just drop yeah. him right there. Oh, wow. Beautiful setup over here. And yeah, like I said, me whispered to you there. I didn't want our first shot to be a 200 yards standing on the shooting sticks, but um, we had no other option. Yeah. So. Right. That was you, quite about 200. Yes, sir. Outstanding. Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well done. Great job. <laughs> Oh my well, goodness. Well, let's go check him out. Yeah, let's go get our hands on him. Look at that. That's crazy. No, not while, not while shooting, but the adrenaline dump afterwards, you know. That's why we do it. <laughs> so that's just great. <laughs> that's what keeps you keeps yeah, coming back. Yeah. Wouldn't be fun. Oh wow, that's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> that is a big, big power. Wow. wow. Just what a lovely first animal on your safari, yeah? Oh, yeah. Look at how sleek your skin is. Let me take it rougher from you, yeah. sir. Not the top of the, the shoulder. Check it out. Now how old, would, how old is this animal? We'll check his teeth, he's probably like a six-year-old, they're about seven-year-old. Oh wow, he's real tall. Yeah. Kind of even curves You back can see he at one point probably broke this little bit. You can see some rough here, but he's bloomed it square again. So just mm -hmm. a beautiful old warrior. And such a perfect shot. The shot looks high shoulder here, but from where we were, that's angled in like this, the way he was standing. Yeah. So absolutely spot on. But your first African animal, <laughs> pulled it off cleanly. Congratulations, yeah. Jeff. Thank Great. you. Thank you so very, very, very much, Dick. Man, it's fantastic. Like I said, he, well, like he comes up and then he even turns over a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you said, he's older. Yeah. He turns. That was. This is excellent. Excellent. Like I said, even, <laughs> even that gives it some character. You know, it shows he's an old fighter. Yeah. Uh, uh, it gives it some uniqueness to that that I like. Well, first one down. Beautiful animal, and congrats, and to many more. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're most welcome. So this is only since the rains you're seeing all these red stalks sticking out of this tree here. So this is quality quality food for the animals we're after and when we go drop over here you'll see most of the animals there are going to be eating this bush specifically so okay. this is the one to keep your eye on. And we're just going to walk right about 100 yards because from there we can see a bit more into the bottom but then also from there, the next spot's close. It's only maybe 200 yards. So we're just on the on the edge of the rim now. We get down a little bit more. We can see nicely in the bottom and work our way right around the corner.
Yes. How do they speak that at this point? I can see you clearly. Mm -hmm. I think you've got better eyesight than those binoculars in your hand. That's something getting into it, an artifact? Yes, sir. All the termite mounds that be open hole like that is the artifact coming at night. It's got big strong claws, cracks it open, and then obviously the termites just scramble and then he just licks everything up. So <laughs> you see a lot of them with a hole. You'd think there must be hundreds of, of these art far, but they're really realistically one can do a lot of damage. So mm. once one is responsible for many of the holes you're seeing, it's oh, not okay. like there are many around. Uh, about four years ago, I met Tim Rainwater uh, when he was first starting his Rockwater Ranch. Through a series of events, you know, he said he wanted to bring his wife. Um, my wife was definitely up for coming for it, and you know, his friend Steve and uh, his wife wanted to come, and so we just kind of made it a couples thing on this trip, and it's it's really worked out well. I, I, I owe many thanks to uh, Tim and Carl for the ability and the affordability to doing this. It's really, really reasonable. And that was the primary reason that I came this time. look in the brush below us and then also on that all along that far slope. Yeah, today is definitely the hottest day on safari. We haven't seen many animals moving. We've got a couple now that are moving down here now. Looks like a mature cow and kind of a six month old young bull there with her. He's still red in color like his mother, but yeah, a few more months he'll start getting darker and darker and after a year he old he'll start really looking black. At about 18 months, he'll be completely black like a mature Nyala bull looks. So yeah, this is about the first couple animals we've seen in the last two hours. It's really pressing close on 90 um, temperature-wise. So things are a bit slower today. But yeah, animals still moving a little bit, but I think they're sticking mainly to the shadows.
So Jeff, we've been down the bottom of these thick canyons down here. That's where we've come out and made our way to the top again. Right. Uh, we spotted a waterbuck bull now. It's a good um, management bull. It's an old bull. Um, it's a kind of bull that we need to take out of the herd. Right. So we've got a nice management bull to go after here. He's kind of on the edge of the plains. Um, he's obviously was down in the thick stuff that's come out for some fresh air and he's feeding on the hillside. So we're going to make our way all along the ridge line. The wind is good for us. Okay. So hopefully we can get on him again, but he, we left him very relaxed. So okay. we'll give it a go. All right, fantastic. Tremendous. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a what an opportunity to take a uh, bonus animal, you know, take a then do do the herd a lot of a lot of uh, good and yep. Uh, an animal that I'm it's so very we, beautiful while not a, a trophy standard animal. It's a good animal to take out of the herd so the so other when, animals will yeah. have a better time. So when I saw it, I said oh. to Jeff, you know, we try and take out the, what we consider a bit lesser genetic animals. We've got a big body, thick neck, fully mature bull. Right. It's a beautiful animal and just a little bit shorter horns on the average. Mm -hmm. So it's a good management animal and part of our kind of general management here is to take out those uh, worst genetic animals right, as well. Right, right. So, and I was glad to do yeah. it and had a great opportunity to take a bonus animal that is very beautiful, you know. Yeah. I mean, on my wall in Louisiana, no one's going to know it's not a trophy. <laughs> Let's go check it it's out. It's my trophy. It's a trophy to me. I mean, Absolutely. Yeah, certainly. Begin with the shakes. <laughs> yeah, really. Huh. Beautiful, beautiful animal there. Oh, yeah. You can smell a bit of a musky smell. That's typical of a water. I see how oily his horns and his skin looks. Right. They have an oil gland and they, they really are oily. If you rub him, you'll see your fingers are shining and he's got a musky smell to him. So, oh, okay. yeah, mature old bull, got a very thick neck on him. It's a bit of rigor mortis there. And, and yeah, the reason we wanted to take this guy out was just, like I said, average horn length. It's um, a little bit below the average, so it's a good management animal. Right. So, yeah, part but you of... You a mature, uh, mature animal. Yeah, yeah, beautiful rock hard bases, yeah. You see the ivy showing through in the horn old bull and still a lovely animal so congratulations oh, yeah, on the water so. I'm, I'm very happy with thank you very much you're most welcome Whew. one two three one a double dark green bush and that little smaller one over there he's standing against the front of that one if you look at the road coming down mm -hmm. where it kind of ends come left that very open dirt patch I see it. that's I see where it, it is yes. I see it. he's standing there you can clearly see his like light brown legs he's just relaxing but he's got a very thick neck and a big body so he is a mature bull and um, we might as well go close and get a better look at him i just cannot see his horns from here He's standing dead still against the brush there, but from here we're over 2,000 yards away, so we've got a lot of ground to work with if we can get much closer. He's just started feeding in that open gap down there. Mm -hmm. Get a good look at him now. He's 
facing away from us is good. Just see his nostrils and his chin and he's chewing. He's behind the tree. Yeah. Still. Yeah, but he's chewing, which is good, so he's not alerted by anything. I can just see his face. Did you can see the bases here. Nothing. I can literally just I see he's taking a step forward. Oh there we go, he's coming out. Yep. It's a 43 inch bull. How long? 43, 44. You're a car. He's an old. You tell me. He's an old bull. And he's not as long as I thought he would be from the top from behind. He looks impressive. When I see him from the side, he's got shallow curls. Ah, there's another bull coming out to his left. down eating in the grass. Yeah, that's a slightly younger bull. Yeah, it's just sit here a little bit. There's another bull come out further left. He's even he's longer than the one we're looking at, but he's a younger bull. He's still growing. Mm -hmm. But let's just keep an eye here. There's a good chance it more come out. Third bull coming out. That's uh, even younger. That's a four-year-old bull that walked out there now. The thing is, there, I know that there are hundreds of kudu here, although we had rough conditions today, it's only, like I said to you this morning, it's only going to get better as the week goes Are on. Are we going to hunt in the morning before we go up or we're not? I think so. Well, we still had a tremendous day, Jeff. I mean, we got that great management water work this morning, right. and we had really almost impossible heat all day, but then the storm blowing in this afternoon, and kudu are definitely moving. We saw three bulls here, a nice mature bull, but it's still early in our week and we've decided to pass on him. It's still a, it's a beautiful animal and it's lovely to see an animal yeah. like that. And you know now, getting an idea great. of what we're looking for. Not our bull, this one, so we've mm -hmm. let him walk. They've just fed up the hillside there. But it's what a tremendous day and what a beautiful evening it's turned out to be with this thunderstorm rolling past us like that. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, really it's, just... that's why you have to trust your guide, you know. <laughs> and, you know it's, that was, it walked out, gave us the shot, the beautiful animal. and the big meme and everything you're looking for yeah. just not enough in the inch area and that's why you always trust your guide to make the call you don't make the call because to me we done shot <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, to me all could do a giant no matter what but uh, we, we're gonna get a big bull don't oh, you I know, worry I, have every face, I mean we have a lot of time still yeah, we have a lot of time and we still have more but then i think it's gonna be correct let's keep get out of here now mm -hmm. If you look just over these trees in front of us in the bottom, there are two bulls walking there. No, they're just not right. They're just both young. A herd of Cape Buffalo feeding real close in front of us in the real thick stuff. Do you see that patch of dirt over there? You come straight back toward us and right 30 yards just glass that area you'll see a herd of cape buffalo feeding in the thick stuff there.
I have stalked before, I was stalking a water dog last year. It looked just like this dead and I saw one pig. That was it. Now let me try to stalk. We went down here, came through these trees, 18 buffalo jumped out and six coo. In these trees, it, it's thick down here. Mm -hmm. And because it's so close to water and there's greenery around there, they don't have to move far. Right. You know, what I'm going to do, we're going to walk just another 80 yards down. Look at the water back above the impala. Mm -hmm. Look how tiny that one running with them is. That calf is days old. That calf in front of the mother there. That calf's born in a good season. Gonna do well. Mother looks fat and healthy. Well, Jeff and Kelly, we've left the south, we've come up to our camp here, what we call our north camp in the mountains. We've traveled about three hours up here, and wow, that's, we've been absolutely graced by amazing vistas, the distant thunder showers rolling around us. It's a real welcome change from the 100 plus degree heat that we were hunting kudu in yesterday. So, a completely new area, new species. We're going to come up here mainly targeting Gemsbach. Uh, first off here in the mountains. So I'm really excited. I think we're going to be in for two days of really good hunting here. And yeah, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the area, and let's just take it all in. It's just a really beautiful area and one of our favorite areas to hunt. Jeff, they just, they just ran over here onto that plane. When we were coming along the road, they were all standing where those ostriches are. It's just out of our range. Right. And then they just trotted off. There's a long plane around the corner there. If we walk to it just above the ostriches, we might get a shot at them there. But I am quite surprised that they're so skittish. If you come here, you see, Jeff, this next little ridge, 200 yards in front of us. With the trees around. Yes. Yeah. I can just see the Gensbach's horns and heads going. they just over a ledge from us that we wouldn't be able to get a shot. Well, Mr. Jeff, I promised it would be a very different terrain and different uh, style to what we've seen thus far. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're quite correct. Well, I guess Jim Buck won Jeff Zero today, huh? <laughs> I'm just surprised that they've not been pressured. How wild, I mean. The... They, it's their eyesight's one of the best out on the plains, and they just, they don't take chances. I mean, we're on top of this high mountain plateau here, yeah, and... Uh, I think but, the ostrich just busted us. <laughs> an ostrich uh, has busted many a hunt before. So, yeah, yeah. the Gemspike definitely have one and us zero. But, but it's just been worth getting up to the top of the mountain and seeing something oh, yeah. so yeah, I mean, green and beautiful and fresh. You know, a couple thousand yard hike <laughs> <laughs> over a night. <laughs> Anyone who thinks you can just come to Africa, step out and shoot and kill something, 
No, that's not the case. <laughs> you earn your animals here, that's for sure. That's what it's about. We come here to work and hard. I don't want it any other way. Get some quality animals. Come look here quickly. There's a very nice bull there. A very good one? Yeah. Come and look over inside the scope there. Three bulls together there. It's a mature bull. And then, pretty. And then two younger bulls with him. Okay. But he's perfectly symmetrical which is a bonus from the back I'm looking at yeah, yeah. Just, this, with, and then the points hooking right forward so mm. you know as a shape wise he's a perfect bull he's yeah. like hey that's again follow your lead but it does look very pretty from the back yeah they all look very pretty to me but I, like you said it did look very I mean just almost flawless symmetry yeah going on. absolutely I see it really good and then they started his walking. final curl is the the points of that spiral are pointing perfectly parallel straight up which is like from the, the mountain from the front it's going to be perfectly beautiful versus maybe i'm um, pointing in or anything like that we're going to try to get ahead of them or yeah there's a very deep that little slot there yeah, they go in there will be they'll be out of our sight and we'll be out of theirs and we can move pretty decisively up here okay there were two younger bulls a ways behind them there's the mm -hmm. song back in the same line with back here those are the two we need to watch out for because if they bolt to those it will push them into that canyon okay but let's just go in these in the brush here while they're almost out of our sight which is good just kept on this line walking across and they got themselves to the edge of that thick brush and that's the kind of place they'd like to hang out. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is cut left as if we're going away from them. As soon as we get to there we'll be out of sight from them. They're in the valley bottom. We keep cutting up here, we'll get out of sight and we can move toward them because this, these ridges will block us from them. Um, and you know, if they can just hang out there, it's a, th a little thick cluster of brush, they probably would want to hang out there. So we're just going to move left as if we're going away from them. If they see us, they should be relaxed and we'll cut across. still got some decent cover to work with. We're going to keep now, I'm going to slow the pace down a bit so we can just be a bit more quiet. And we're just going to make our way there. But we should be able to close to under 300 hopefully. We're just going to keep moving slowly on this line. Now we are, oh, there's a slight breeze dropping off that mountain in our face. That's pretty, right. we were pretty much in a good position here now. Let's just keep moving slowly. exposed here to look like we're not attacking them just go up the mountain because there's a ditch in front of us when we're in that ditch and we come out other side of it will definitely be within range so we just gotta not alert them too much and look like we're heading kind of away from them not at them Okay. 
this big red cliff uh -huh. is just on top of it. Okay, you see the big red cliff? Gonna have to move forward because he's walking in those cliffs. He's going the front bull has come out on the other side. I can see the young bull in the open, Jeff. But he keeps looking to his left. It means that other bull's gotta be in those trees to his left somewhere. So do you see the big main cliff? Yeah. You come right of it straight in front of us is a rock shelf with an yeah, orange well, stone. That's 320 to that shelf. Okay. And the young bull is just above it in the trees. But he keeps looking to his left, like towards the big cliff. Mm -hmm. So that the big bull must be just in there somewhere. Leave him for now, continue hunting. And we come, eventually we'll come around later and pop over the top and look because there's still that cloud 360. So it's always just in front of us. But they're sitting dead still in the trees there, watching down. You know, even if we walk up here, you're going to have to get up, shoot fast. It'll give you a few seconds before they run. It's rather leave them. We can go carry on hunting, come on later on the top, get the wind right, come over and find them feeding again later. We're going to get something today if the sticks don't kill me first. <laughs> Well, Jeff, Miss Kelly and the other ladies are off on a photographic trip today. We'll continue looking for Ken's Buck and Kudu here in the mountains. And watch my vessel sink Cause I've seen the shores of every tide But I still wish I was in your sea Still have the tracker station on the mountain behind us, the big mountain behind us, and you can see them lying there. We've been cutting all along here at the window back to get past these animals because the wind's been bad for Should us. Be good, right? But we, on top of this little ridge behind us here, it's like that big open flat plateau. Mm -hmm. They're just lying there, kind of lying through the midday you know session. The field, yeah. Right? So we're just going to keep going like we are. Getting, we, as soon as we go up this little cut here, we're going to be getting past them, and then we can turn our heads back into the wind and pop up and see where they are. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. see them yet. Um, Rudy saw them lying just over here. I'm trying to just see their head sticking up but I can't but there is a bit of a dip going off there and um, they were lying up top here though so we're just going to keep moving around the wind and just stopping and glassing carefully you'll see their horns sticking out from their lying position. You'll see the horns sticking out above the ground. Okay. You're going to move slowly this way.
Jeff, can you see them through the gap there? You see this green brush 50 yards in front of us? The three of them in a row. Yeah, yeah, look just to the right. Look down there. It looks like stones moving just through that hole on the right of that green tree. A massive herd of them there. They all got their noses down into the wind feeding. We're just going to stick behind this brush and get to this next brush and then sit down because then we can start looking through the herd and seeing from here and now they're 400 yards what I'm in the furthest one. So let's just go forward slowly. Some nice animals here, Jeff. Some really nice animals. I've seen three already and I haven't even looked through all of them. I've only looked through about half the herd because others will be on the brush for me, but I've identified three um, already that we could shoot. Yeah, we just need to chat so we know exactly where we're aiming for the bullet drop, you know. I've seen a second cow now, it's also an ancient cow. I can see her neck muscle, like structures even kind of gone down. She's got very skinny looking neck, bit of a patchy skin. So there are two options I've seen so far in the herd here in terms of taking out very old cows that will be non-productive, kind of the right animals to take out here. There are a few small animals here, but um, there's definitely no dependent yet here at all. But I'm looking at this cow, the one cow, she definitely doesn't even have an udder showing, so she didn't raise a calf. Um, but in any event, the calves are all definitely at weaning age. They're pretty big. They, they're three-quarter grown calves here already. Okay, Jeff taken a photo through my scope for you because obviously with 40 animals lying there and every single one has got horns it gets a little confusing <laughs> so we have isolated an old cow okay. so that image there is the center of the herd with the animal we after is this one lying looking away from us lying broadside okay mm -hmm. so she's in the middle basically of the whole cluster of animals lying down. There's single animals all lying in a row this side, five animals. Mm -hmm. Then you get this whole cluster, then a string of animals this side. So she's basically in the middle of the tight cluster. So you want me to put so, that So I'm going to show you a different photo now, but just for reference, when we get onto them in your scope, we're going to look from the left and count from the left and see how many animals are there. Okay, we'll count together. I'll look at my binoculars, we'll count till we get to this situation here mm -hmm. and we'll look and see and they're always moving their heads like this car will scratch itself a few times and um, the bull is that guy there is walking patrolling around around these cows you know so we'll just keep in communication but that is the one we want okay. now if we look at this photo we're going to angle it right in there so you you want the impact to be hitting right about there so you how many inches high so you're going to tuck it in over there but the main is going to drop in right there so if the way she's lying now is almost about the left hand side of her face, that is the line, left and right line that you're aiming for. Okay. But we'll watch her carefully and then decide where we want to hit her, just how she lies or she moves or whatever, because that bull is walking around nudging them and stuff like that. So at the moment there is a clear line to her. So I just want to range once more and be sure in our distance. Okay. There for the meantime, so I can stop. So we're just going to take our time, squeeze that shot. She's just looked, turned her head and looked left. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we want. Reload. And that shot went low. I saw the dust. Oh, yeah. They're 80 yards below us. 
they're gonna come walking in the gap here, so stay ready. We're gonna count them in the gap, and I'm gonna tell you which one to shoot. In this case, we'll swing around. Is that too high? Do you see the one behind the tree now? There, she's coming up the right of the tree. That's her? Yeah, the top animal, she's walking, she's gonna stand. Great shot. Great shot, sir. Great shot. Let's just relax. The whole herd's gonna run here. Good job, partner. That was stressful, I know. We have this tiniest window. We had killed ourselves all freaking day and I missed. <laughs> but we have a tremendous old Ginsburg cow. It's the same cow that we tried to get on earlier. It is a great cow. It sure is a good hit. A good hit, sir. Perfect. We had that one window. She came across there. The whole herd is still milling around us here. She is down the track. I really just saw her fall. Good job, sir. <laughs> Shakes again. <laughs> this was intense. The whole herd's going to run out to our left here now. This is the most, this is one of the hardest hunts I've ever done in my life. I think this is the hardest hunt I've ever done in my life. Good. Well, look at the scenery we get to do it in. Oh and my God. Look at the experience we get to have. Yeah, we've got 50 game spark herd running away from us here now. That is a challenging animal out in this open. Yep. We shot an ancient car when we were sitting back there. I isolated five really old cows in the herd that had like secondary growth growing and you know really looked old and um, they're no dependent young in that herd so it is part of our management plan we have a quota of cows we do take every year and we pick off old cows like this so just I mean you look at that window we had to work with <laughs> she stepped out I mean as soon as that crosshair touched her shoulder I, 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 I squeezed well come let's go check it out Uncle Jeff, you have earned this animal. Yes. What a tremendous, amazing, amazing animal this is. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. It's even rubbed smooth. I mean, it's just... Yep. Ancient cow. She's got secondary growth in the base of horns. I guarantee you we can check her teeth and they'll be finished. So Fantastic. she's in her last year for sure. The winters are harsh here. She wouldn't have survived another winter. How many Still in... I wonder? Yeah, she's a very good length cow as well. We really picked out a lovely animal. And you've earned it, so you've walked many miles. <laughs> I've dragged you around. Yes, you <laughs> and you, you haven't complained once, and it's been difficult. You see, this is where they're living. I mean, we're right near the top of the mountain here, and I mean, it's just been, we've been, we've been really spoiled with the views we've seen the last day. Uh, oh, and I mean, been, to, this is just the kind of cherry on top. So. And to miss and have another opportunity was just and on the exact same manner we missed her just over there after quite an intense build up mm -hmm. and then they came around we just had a walk they didn't go far they spun around the top of the mountain here we walked over the top wind was still good and we got right. lucky it's a very tough shot you took there and hit perfect i mean it's a double lung she went 10 yards from where we shot so Fantastic great animal. congratulations thank so you really thank you thank you wonderful thank day you so wonderful much for animal. working so hard today it's Fantastic. You're most welcome, sir. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful animal. <laughs> Hold it like that. I want to take one photo like that, please. <laughs> so what I was trying to show you earlier, this is secondary growth. See, it's got ridging, ridging, ridging. Then, yeah, it's actually got like crimped rings for an inch and a half, oh, two okay. inches. That is with extreme age, they grow that post out like that. So.
Oh, look at that, Pippa. Hey, you ferocious, ferocious hunting mutt. We gotta remember Pepper. Ferocious hunting mutt. Look at you go. Hey. down in that bottom field. Which side of the field? The, there's a there's a big herd of impala to the left. Uh, oh, it is, does it look black to you? It's black with a, with a light color on top of its back. Yeah, it's a uh, nyala bull. Oh, okay. There's two of them that are huge. Yeah, I saw them earlier. Well, Jeff, we've had a lot of rain last night, so it really would have kept the animals uh, bedded in for the night. Mm -hmm. So this morning we've seen a lot of animals coming out already. We just spotted a bull down in this valley here. The wind's very good for us. We're going to just head round. There's a lot of thick brush behind us and to our right and kind of work that brush line and come out where we can see and then have a good look at the bull. Okay. But he's definitely an old bull. I just want to get close and have another look and then we can decide whether he's one we want to take or not. Okay, yeah. let's go. for spider webs you'll find in our field it's called the golden orb web if you actually physically feel the strand and you don't have to break it just feel the strand pretty pretty sturdy it's almost like fishing line. yeah like fishing. it's like it's like 10 pound fishing line i mean it's like 10 pound line it's a very big spider beautiful spider you see it over there i think um you know with all the heat and winds we had the first few days we didn't really see many but Calm day like today, some dew on the spider web. She comes out nicely. I can see cow tracks over here, so that bark was definitely kudu cows feeding up here. They went through there. Those are dung beetles. Those are about as big as you see them. And they'll roll that ball, and the male will actually go and bury that ball in a burrow. Um, but yeah, that's that'll be two males probably gonna fight over the same ball. So From this angle, you see this first upright single tree trunk, this okay. long tree trunk sticking out. Yeah, close to us. Right there. Yeah, that yeah. long white tree trunk. 
take a line to the top of that tree trunk and just come right about 20 yards that's where he is so we just got to wait for him to come out in a space there when he gives you enough shoulder to squeeze it off on the shoulder just low on the shoulder You just tell us when you see your angles getting clear. At this stage he's just frozen there, basking in the morning sun. Yeah, and just keep your eye on him because he, he could easily turn around and just face the other way for a bit. They do that sometimes, just turn on the spot to maybe listen if he hears anything behind him or whatever. Okay, he's moving left. Just reload, your shot just left. Okay, reload, reload. He's standing there, same place. He's turned right. He's coming out, he's coming out, get ready. Left, you see the cactus? Okay, come to the tall white stump tree. Tall white stump tree. Uh -huh. Just the right of it. Just the right of the tall white stump tree, the top of it. Yeah, don't have any, don't have any. Tall white stump tree, further left. Yeah, okay, he's walking the trees. You pull, see him standing in the tree? Pull that, pull that, pull that the down. deep green tree, five yards to the right of the top of that tree. Yeah, I see, I see. Okay. I don't have it, it's not clear. He's coming out. Get on that spot. Okay. He's standing in the gap. In the gap, just left of the white cluster of trees. This cluster here of like four or five. Just left of them. Okay, squeeze the shot off, low on the shoulder. Just behind the shoulder, tuck it in. Yeah, you hit him, you hit him. You just shot as he moved though. Hit him a little bit back. Oh, I've been so humbled. I've been so humbled by this trip. Oh my God. I mean, the first two shots were just spot on, great kills. Yeah. You know, and then when I, yesterday when I had the opportunity, I had a spot on shot and then the animal I came for, I'm just, I'm like 16 and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? If I didn't feel this way, I wouldn't, I would never hunt again. This is, this is why we hunt. This is it. The drilling, that pure sweet. I mean, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm just keeping an eye on the area. It is a very, very thick cluster of brush around that dry creek bed, uh -huh. but he bucked up hard, which is a very good sign. Well, Mr. Jeff, I see the adrenaline hitting you properly now. <laughs> Can you hear it in your breathing? <laughs> Shaking like you're 12. Oh my God, that's, that's just so awesome. It's so awesome, it's so great. It's such a wonderful feeling. <laughs> Kudu will do that to even the most hardened of hunters. So yeah, what a... and it's been my whole, my whole life understanding anything about Africa. It was the only animal I ever wanted. Yeah. And to finally get a shot on one and to, you know, it's just, it's just been, it's just been tremendous. It's just been amazing. It's amazing. But, uh, I mean, even the miss, I mean, it even, it even hardens the drive even more because you, then it's just, you know, you, you're just going to get so rare to get that second shot with one of these animals. Yeah, absolutely. And mm. I had him, but my, I was just too adrenaled up. I was just, I did not feel comfortable taking the shot. And then when we did have him again, he moved. So Jeff, we've got a lot of blood moving here. What we're going to do is just keep going on this track. Okay. That's how she runs his track. Go, go. Come up here, Mr. Jeff, come up here. He's moving right through the trees. He's moving right through the trees. Just get it in that tree there. Just on the shoulder, anywhere in the body. Just get it on the shoulder if you can. Here we go. Done. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the kudu got you shaken uh, like you yeah, haven't in decades. Much. Good dog, uh, girl. Uh, <laughs> it came here and this bull, it 
I mean, it wasn't barely 20 yards from where we shot. We found some bone fragment there. We definitely broke. Um, we shot further back. As that bull moved, you took that shot. Right. And um, unfortunately, just a bit far back. But that's why we have these little terriers with us. They're trained to track blood specifically. Right. And typically, a kudu bull goes a thicker stuff and stand dead still. But it worked out great in the end. Yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, our bull down. Yeah, lifelong dream come true. I mean, and to miss and then to shoot it, you know, it stepped right when I shot again and the dealing with the adrenaline and the shakes definitely got kudu fever 100%. 100%. It's just like I shot my first deer when I was 16. It's Let's check it out. Same. Come on. Now you're going to oh really see God. your dream animal. Exactly so, Jeff, it's right where he fell. You can see a lot of blood lying just over there. Yeah. But an ancient bull. I I hit him right in yeah, hit the just unfortunately the height is perfect. Hit him a bit back over here as, as he turned. But I can see you broke this back leg, yeah. And yeah, that's why we have these little <laughs> wirehead, tenacious little buggers, because they <laughs> go after it. Oh yeah, he's beautiful. How many inches? Ancient. Part of 45 inch bull, yeah, just a lovely cape bull. Come check your teeth out, so have a look at that. Oh, he's an old Absolute guy. Sure, nubs. Yeah, great ball to take. I'm surprised he's got such a good cape on him still, with the mane and everything intact, considering how old he is. But if you feel, yeah, I can feel your bullet on his shoulder here now. This last one. So. What do you think that one went in back there? Just yeah, just, just the perfect height in that. But he stepped right when I shot. Yeah, him. unfortunately, and I mean, it's end of the day. We. It is hunting, it's a challenge, you can't control your breathing all the time, oh, there's so yeah, many okay. factors coming to play. And The first shot, I was so, felt so good about it and yeah. completely pulled forward a little bit on it. You know, just, it just but you got your kudu bull, sir. I got my kudu bull. Congratulations, Thank it's you. been Thank one you. heck of a Thank trip to try so and get it. Much. So very much, so very much. You're oh, most welcome. A life, lifetime dream to put my hands on these horns. I mean, <laughs> it's just been thick, he's so heavy. Yeah, and, and I mean to take such an ancient bull, you can see the ivory showing oh, the ivory, out definitely ivory on it. down along the face of that horn, and the, I mean his teeth are done. So, yeah, good, good white animal to be taking out. So, yeah, so. very good one to be taking out. Well, Jeff, you've got to experience all the beauty of the Eastern Cape, hunting these thickets at woodlands like this, starting here on the first day, and then making up to the mountains, and you know, seeing some completely different territory, hunting completely different animals. Right. We pushed ourselves, and we came away with some lovely animals. And you know, we're ending the safari with a beautiful day here down in woodlands. But yeah, it's been a pleasure having you, and can't wait to do it again sometime. Well, great, thank you so very much for your, all your hard work, for challenging me, pushing me making it a true hunt of a lifetime. It's been a fantastic experience and I can't wait to book my next hunt. It's already, it's already planned. <laughs> fantastic. All right, thank you. You're most welcome. <laughs>